I don't think... I don't think there's anything a hundred men or more could ever do to take me away from Vanilla Well. I don't think it's possible. Anyway, so we're in Undercity once more, and we're heading... We're heading over to Sepulcher. I really hope I'm not butchering that. It's gonna bother me. I need to really take a few minutes and look up how to pronounce this. Uh, but we're heading over to the Sepulcher. 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 I don't know. We're heading over there to do the Return to Podrig quest, and uh, that's a very easy quest. We were At the end of last episode, we were starting to kind of play around with that a little bit. Um, once we land, we'll turn the quest. I think it's the end of that quest line. I think the whole purpose... What's down there? What's going on? Oh, just some fighting. I think the only purpose of that quest line was to show a new player how to use uh, flight points. I think that's pretty much the entire purpose of it. Now players like, oh, that's cool. I can jump on this bat and go to Undercity and come back, and it's very convenient. So it's a, it's a minor, but those are the kind of details that made WoW, when it first launched, a successful game because they, they really did a good job at guiding players into the basic mechanics without totally uh, hand-holding them. It's very easy to die in Vanilla WoW, as evidenced by my first attempt at this Iron Man. Um, I died at level 8, I think, against just a random trash mob. Like, it's not necessarily an easy game to get through. Um, I mean, you'll get to 60 even if you're terrible at the game. Like, anyone can get to 60 if you have the patience for it. But they do a good job, I think, of working you through some of the details. So, anyway, we're here at the Sepulcher, and uh, let's go talk to Podrig and see what he has for us. Which I think is just a little bit of experience. What now? Uh, Gordon's Crate. Uh, you return. Do you have our supplies? Yes, good work. These weapons will ensure our death guards don't get caught unprepared. Oh, well, a thousand experience. That's more than I expected. Cool. Let's buff up. I'm going to take a drink of water over here. Okay, we're good and buffed. We're still hurting on bag slots. Oh, we need to get food and water. That's what I'm forgetting. That's an easy easy thing to forget until you're out in the world and you don't have food and water. Then it's not so easy. Uh, not such a fun thing. Is there a campfire anywhere around here? I thought there might be. Oh, this will work. This will work. I think this fireplace counts. Cozy fire, yeah. I'll show you why in a moment. Cooking. Charred wolf meat. I'm um, still working on the, the wolf meat stuff, or the, the skill ups on cooking, as mentioned many times. Technically, you're not allowed to use professions in an Iron Man, but I think that's boring, so I'm allowing myself to use any professions in which I uh, obtain the reagents myself. I think it's a little more fun. <laughs> but now we're gonna vendor this off. Hold on a sec. Uh, fractured canine, charred wolf meat. I still think this discolored war heart has a purpose, but I, I don't know. Uh, okay, let's do this and this. All right, so let's figure out our quest. I haven't actually taken got another quest here at level 13, I think. Same thing with Apothecary uh, Ren Pharrell over here in the back. We have actually exactly five quests, but we can't track these two. Now, where... Firewood Village. I don't think I want to do this quest right now. I think I was talking about this last episode. It's kind of scary. I don't really want to be involved with that. Lost Deathstalkers. Where are they? Scout the farms in Northern Silver Pine. So, here, maybe? Enter the Dead Fields. Where is this quest? The Dead Fields. Uh, farm to the north. The dead fields. Okay, so let's go up there and work on that quest. I think that sounds fun. We will work on the dead fields quest, and along the way we'll kill any moon rage white scalps we run into, and also bears and skitterers. Now, the white scalps are all over the place. We're probably going to engage them on accident, like whether we want to or not. I think we're going to run into them. Uh, so I'm not going to go out of my way to kill them. Maybe I should. Maybe I should just kill them. Why not? They're right here. Um, I might as well just kill him and turn on the quest in case there's a follow-up, which I don't know if there is for this, but if there is, it'd be good. I'm just going to whack this guy to finish him off. Nice. Ooh, a heavy hammer. 
cool. You can't use it, but it does look cool. It looks, it looks like a one-handed mallet heavy hammer. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I wasn't going to kill these, but as I realized they were right here, I only need to kill five of them. It's not like I'm killing a whole bunch of them. Why not just uh, do it and then turn in the quest? And then immediately after that, we can start working on these bears and the skitterer blood, etc. Should be a pretty chill episode, so it's probably going to be mostly story time uh, for me. Oh, this guy actually has a lot of health. This is kind of terrifying. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna cross over this little little guy. Back away a little bit more. Freeze him. Seriously, there's a lot of health on those bears. I need to be careful if they aggro onto me and I'm not ready for them. They... Ooh, pioneer boots. Can we equip these? Oh, leather boots, man. <laughs> Bags already almost full. We have six slots left. Oh, God. Bag space, man. Um, let's see, what else is going on these days? I had something I wanted to talk about today. First of all, I do know, I'm looking out the window across, I mentioned this before, my desk set up so that my desk faces a wall, and the wall has, it's mostly window on that wall, it's actually pretty nice, I like looking outside. Uh, and all I want to say is that it has been cold, it has been very, very cold. Let's go see if we can get this mage royal. I think we're not high enough level or skill. Oh, where's this guy at? There he is. Wait. Okay. Let's get this one. Um, it has been. It was bitter cold this week. I love cold weather. I've mentioned this before. Cold weather is my favorite weather. I strongly prefer the cold to the heat. If it was up to me, if it were up to me, every day would be eh, between 20 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, a little below freezing good in my opinion uh a little above freezing i'm gonna die to this guy because i can't melee him okay <laughs> i'm tired of waiting for him to uh beat my head in i'm gonna fire blast him but yeah, i like the cold i mean i probably truthfully i probably like like 40 degree weather the most like just above freezing um but i'd rather have below freezing by a little bit than like 95 fahrenheit that's what i'm scared of son of Argol. Our Arugol? Arugula? Arugol. I can't get any closer, so he will eat me. Can I get closer? Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Oh, resist. Gross. Uh, let's do this. Resist again. Oh my gosh. What? I'm getting wrecked by this uh, level 11 scrub. Resist. <laughs> It has resisted three, like, half my spells. Oh, man. The horror. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's go turn in this quest. Uh, what do we pick up? A sharp claw. Those are used in something, right? Those are reagents for, like, a... Like, is it, like, the mighty... Like, the rage potion that alchemists can make? I don't think we have that potion yet, but I swear there's a purpose for it. Anyway. Let's go turn in this quest. Uh, kind of lazy, like inefficient to just do a quest and turn it in, but we're pretty close to the town. Let's turn it in. I think I've mentioned before, oh, he's already got a buff. I think I've mentioned before, again, I'll allow buffs as long as I didn't like uh, negotiate them or like buff someone else and then get buffed in return. So I'm trying not to influence it, but if I get a random buff, I'm, I'm keeping it. Uh, all right, Dalar, Dalar. Darn weaver. All right, ooh, arcane intellect from this guy. Thank you, sir. It's actually a super arcane intellect. Or someone, someone buffed me, was it? I think it was him. Okay. Uh, how Argol gained acceptance in the Kirin Tor is beyond me. His spellcasting knowledge seemed as transparent as a blown ga glass, blown glass bobble. It's kind of a tongue twister. What's important now is learning exactly what magic Argol used so that I can turn it against him and secure Silver Pine Forest for the Dark Lady. He stayed at the wheat farm just north of the bridge. Spell books. Okay, retrieve the spell books. Just north of the bridge. Okay, so this is actually a good quest to do now, because we'll go back. We're going to go north anyway. I think what we'll work for is... Uh, so, Argyll's Folly. Uh, lost Deathstalkers. Um... And the Dead Fields. All three of those quests are kind of clumped up there, which is perfect. So we should have a pretty easy time. 
Ooh, my armor burned off. Let's uh, get new armor up. 50 bonus armor, I'll take it. Again, from some herbs that I collected. But yeah, these, uh, those bears, they're kind of dangerous. Yeah, so we're heading up, uh, let's see, let me set up. Yeah, this will work, this will work. No lock, okay. Um, we're heading up here, kind of off to the west a little bit. We're going to see what we can dig up for these quests. I don't remember these quests very well. It's been a long time since I've leveled in Silverpine. For level 14, Ravenclaw Spirit. Yikes. Someone's getting wrecked. <laughs> oh, it's always fun to watch. Always fun to watch. Well, well, oh, oh, you gonna make it? You gonna make it? Lennon, hey, is Lena Knight? Lennon Knight? Someone we saw the other day? Maybe? Can't recall. Well, that's terrifying. That's not, a. Uh... Oh, yeah, dead. <laughs> the dot got her. Sad. Well... Not my problem. <laughs> Gosh. Alright, so I think... I think... Oh, I, don't, I have no idea. I really don't know these quests at all. Like, I have no idea. This is a farm. Let's check out this farm. Could this be it? Does this make any sense? Let me check the quest one more time. Da, da, da. Wait, what are we looking for? Okay. Um, first date at the wheat farm just north of the bridge. One of the death stocks are producing some spell books. Is this a wheat farm? I have no idea. It is just north of the bridge, which is promising. Uh, so if it's here, maybe it would be in this house over here, right? This is a barn. I'm just making sure I don't highlight over it. So let's let's go around this way. As you can tell, leveling is going to get very, very slow. Uh, Valgan's Field. Maybe this isn't it. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. I, I don't think this is it. Uh, Wittoran Warrior. I don't see a lot of them around. Enjoy your two intellect. So useful. Much wow. What else do I have on here? Uh, arcane missiles, which I'm not really going to use. Ooh, some silver leaf. Oh, oh! Did someone just get it? Who just? What? Did someone just loot that? Weird. I don't see anyone here to have harvested it, but it appears someone did. All right, we need a bear. Let's kill the bear. What we need is not not so much the bear itself. We need the uh, hearts, which I don't know if we're going to be getting those very easily. These bears have so much health. Oh man, these are gonna be painful. Yeah, so the weather's been really, really cold recently. Uh, to go back to that discussion, uh, grizzled bear heart. Okay, we got <laughs> two bag spots left, and at least one of those is gonna be filled up by our quest item. Okay, what's over here to the west? Is this this place I want to be at? Someone has wrecked havoc over here. Like totally, just blew up everything. Uh, this snake out here. Ooh, lots of herbs at least. Might as well grab these. Um, level 11 bear? That seems a little bit easier. I think we just killed a 12 bear. I might be wrong on that. You know, am I making a mistake by casting fireballs instead of just spamming frost bolts? So I've got the increased attacks, uh, cast time on frost bolts. Like, should I just be casting frost bolts? That would kind of make sense to me. <laughs> well, bag space is now officially full. Let's throw away... Let's do this. Let's, uh... Make some more bread. Make some more water. I'm gonna eat and drink. And then I'm gonna chuck out the Dalaran Sharp. Uh, which I guess I could have eaten. Nah, yeah, I don't need that. Um... Bear mead to get rid of. I need to make a little bit of space here in sharp claw. I don't actually have room for a silver leaf. <laughs> I'm just like looking at my bags like, oh god, this is gonna be painful. But I could use the uh oh, what I just aggro, what I just aggro. Okay, that's scary. That is actually not an elite. Okay. I'm just gonna run away from him 
I think I'll be okay here. Got some, I'm like looking at my, I got some slumber sand, you know, I can make some stuff happen. So, is this even a farm over here, though? I don't know if it is. Skittering blood. Who drops the skittering blood? Spiders. Okay. That'd be the skittering dark, which is over here. You know, it's worth at least harvesting this just to get the skill up. Um, I don't really particularly care about... Oh, I didn't even get skill up. I was like, I don't even particularly care if I get the... Oh, resist. Come on. Oh, oh, come on. This game. What are you doing to me? Three out of four frost bolts resisted. That's horrifying. Again, I keep saying horrifying because it is horrifying every time it happens. Um, another frost bolt resist. Man, a stringer resist. It's amazing how just a little bit of bad luck can actually just kill you in this game. I got, that wasn't that bad. But just having five resists in a row, and you're just straight up dead. That'll be it. Um, so I think I do want to keep going this way. I'm trying to get over here, but it's really not a clear path. Like, this is the path, this little cobbled stone path here, but it's just not a clear path. I mean, it's like covered in crud. Crud being mobs, obviously. Um, so let me just try frost bolt spam this guy. I don't know if this makes more sense or not. We got him to about half health before he got to us. Oh, nice crit there. But I feel like as I put more points into improved frost bolts, it'll become more and more efficient. Who is this? Night Lash. Don't I need Night Lash? There's Night Lash. I need to kill her. Okay. Let's do it. I don't know who killed all these people, but I will steal their hard work. I really hope I can kill her. She has a lot of health, I'm guessing. Not level 14, not so bad. What is this? 75 shadow damage, flicked it over 15 seconds. That's not so bad. Hey. Ooh, made it happen. Let's eat and drink. Bag space once again full. Large bear tooth I'll get rid of. Okay. Well, I don't know what happened exactly there or how she was spawned, but I will take that. And it's an up... <laughs> this guy was probably working on that quest and I just stole it from him. I guarantee I just stole it from that guy. That poor, poor hardworking undead mage? I think it was a mage. Whatever. It's mine now. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I don't really need to kill this, but I'm... Well, let's just go. I was going to say, I might just kill it just to clear a path, but maybe it's not such a worthwhile idea. Need more bear hearts though, so I'll kill this guy. All right, I kind of think maybe like one fireball makes sense. Does it though? Yeah, it looks like it's the, it did more damage overall. That wasn't even a crit. I think that's a bit better. I don't know if it's more mana efficient, but it's certainly more damage, <laughs> which I'm happy with. All right, let's keep going. So okay. <laughs> super freaking cold this week. It warmed up uh, yesterday and today. Today's Saturday. Um, it was too cold for me. That's the story I was trying to say. It got to like minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit without the wind chill. With the wind chill, it was like minus 40 or 50 or something insane. That's too cold. Like, it got to a point it's like dangerously cold, and that makes it no longer fun to be outside in the cold. Now, all right. Uh, okay. Hmm. I'm wondering if this is the farm I need to be at. These up here. I'll take a peek. I'll take a peek. Now, in other news, uh, the Super Bowl is tomorrow. Um, for the record, hey, it's a quest turning up here. What? For the record, I am a Kansas City Chiefs fan, and they got beat by the Patriots because of all sorts of reasons that make me sad. Uh, <laughs> so they were eliminated uh, two weeks ago, which is a bummer, but, you know, whatever. It happens. 
I was just happy that they got as far as they did. Not as happy as I would be if they had won that game and got to the Super Bowl. Um, my team used to be the Rams. I used to be a St. Louis Rams fan. They had left St. Louis. They went to Los Angeles. I am more so beholden to the city of St. Louis than I am to the Rams themselves. So when the Rams left, oh yeah, look at this, a quest giver that gets in there. That's awesome. Make it happen. So when the Rams left St. Louis, basically I gave up being a Rams fan and became a Chiefs fan because they are geographically the closest team to St. Louis now. Chicago is very close. The Bears are very, very close, but not quite as close. Like, it's almost the same distance, but not quite. Lost Deathstalkers. You found us. Gather six discolored war cards. I knew it. I knew those were needed for something. I was so sure. Okay. Uh, my brother Quinn was badly hurt by the ghoul, Ivar the Fowl. Ivar the Fowl. Gather hearts and take them to Apothecary Renfro and Sepulcher in the south. Then return here with the potion. Okay. Awesome. I'm so happy that I managed to hold on to those. And I've got two of them now. Amazing. Good stuff. Okay, what's in here? There's bad guys in here, good guys? Anything? Is this the uh, the sick person's in here? <clears throat> Excuse me. I got like a froggy throat. I'm like out of practice. I haven't been keeping up with my Let's Plays as much recently. Which I find makes me... I guess have like less vocal stamina than when I'm consistently in the zone. Um, which is kind of disappointing because I really enjoy doing these. Some days, like today is Saturday, as I mentioned, and my wife is actually gone for a few hours. She's going to like a uh, trying on dresses with some of her friends for like a she's a bridesmaid for a wedding. Uh, so the bride is having this get together thing where they're trying on dresses, whatever. So um, no, nothing I've ever been involved in in my entire life because I'm, uh, I guess, let's say. I don't, I don't know what the word would be. I'm not involved ever in trying on dresses. It's something in my entire life I've never never worn a dress. I've never helped anyone provide it. I've never provided provided advice for someone wearing a dress, etc. So I'm not invited, obviously. Uh, which is great, because I didn't really want to go. <laughs> so, um, I've got about five or six hours free this afternoon. I've been doing some other things. and Ooh, thank you. Ooh, a Bard's Cloak is an upgrade? Yes, that's an upgrade. Okay, let's get rid of this. Oh, what do we want to get rid of? Let's get rid of these boots. Grab the cloak. Swap it. It's, oh, I was going to say it might be a red cloak too, but it's not even red. But it's okay. We managed to get a little more, uh, a little more armor. That's great. No complaints from me. We're killing wargs right now, obviously. Uh, we need to kill skitterers also, which I haven't found them. And I don't know where the Hourglass Folly item is still. I, I, I get the feeling that it's one of the... That first, it's it immediately past the bridge. So I'm guessing it's this one. Because this, this farmer here in the west... I'm so paranoid. Like, I usually use Cartographer. The add-on lets you see your map like shrunk while so you can actually see the screen like your character while you're looking at the map um so i constantly if you notice i flip back and forth a lot with the map because i'm always scared that a mob's gonna like that i'm like not in a good position just not paying attention and a mob's gonna wreck me so just just my paranoia is getting to me um so i think if you look at the the, the farm plots and which ones we've already done quests at i'll show you this we have a quest up here already. We already did this one. We have a quest over here, and this one here is probably where the other quest is at. They, they kind of split them up, right? So, let's try to get some more war hearts, and we'll head over. I want to loot these herbs, but honestly, it's kind of scary, like, <laughs> going off the road. Like, oh. So, anyway, oh, it's a bear. We need some bears. Actually, I only need one more bear heart so I can kill this guy and be done with these stupid bears. Hopefully, uh, if he drops it. Yeah, so my wife's busy uh, busy today. Oh, this guy scared me. This uh, level 60 orc warrior? Yeah, it kind of scared me. Um, 
So she's busy today. So I was doing some chores, getting a few things done. Um, working on, I'm working on, I mentioned this last episode, some feature pieces. I was doing some of that stuff. Uh, as a work, let's go get them. I was doing some actual work for my, my, my career, my science stuff. I've got a lot of, oh, hold on a sec. I just saw a mob spawn to my right. I want to get away from that. The pathing that mob took was beautiful. It like got really stuck on that tree because the way I, I think I just like perfectly lined up where it kind of got a little not confused, but sort of went to kind of split weirdly. Uh, worked out well. So I was working on there's a lot of this big data genomic stuff recently. There's a lot of stuff I can do at home, and honestly, my home computer is. I spend a fair amount of money on my home computer, um, in part because I use it for YouTube, in part because I use it for my career in part because I'm a huge computer hardware nerd. Like, if you have any questions about computer hardware, um, I may answer them if you're on, like, the Build a PC Reddit or Hardware Reddit or things. I, I sometimes pop in there. I'm not, a, like, the world's leading expert, but I spend a lot of time thinking about and reading on computer hardware. Most of my YouTube subscriptions are computer hardware uh, channels. Anyway, so I've got a beast computer. I use it all the time for work. Uh, for this big data genomics type analysis stuff, it's super helpful. Like, wildly helpful. I think this house, I'm feeling like I need to get in here. Uh, let's try and clear in. So I've been doing some chores, I get a lot done, but now, um... It's like, I'm gonna sit down, play a few, uh, couple hours, two or three hours of WoW. I haven't done that in a long time. Just sat down and played WoW for a few hours. Uh, this is hour one. Or the first, yeah. This is like the 27th minute or so, that resists kind of gross. Come on, are you kidding me? What the heck just happened with this mob? I can't do that while moving. It just resisted four spells in a row? It's one of those moments where I'm just like, why? Not why in like a, I hate this game why, but in a, wow, what are the odds kind of way. Uh... Seriously, what are the odds of that? I think those guys are actually polymorphable. Um, so I'll keep that in mind, but I just felt like fleeing rather than wasting any time on him. Uh, any further time on him, I should say. Uh, yeah, so some well. And then I was going to go to the gym today, but it gets kind of like rainy, like sleety outside. It's kind of gross. So I'm using it as an excuse to not go to the gym, which is just terrible. But uh, I'm going to do a little bit of stuff at home. I can do... I'm not big on body weight exercises, but we got a few like decent sized dumbbells at home. Um, I can I'm gonna throw in a few kind of weak squats on that and do some uh, planks, etc. You know, nothing fancy, just a few things just to get a little bit of activity a day. And then I'm gonna go for I think about a mile. Oh, disciple Stein of the Whale. Gosh, wish I could equip that. Side note: of the Whale is the best uh, tag. What a cool item. Look at that. I mean, I would be so psyched getting that item if I could use it right now. Um, again, Iron Man rules. No, no, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, no green gear. Um, I'm going to go for about a mile and a half walk, which sounds really weird. Maybe if it's sleeting and cruddy. Um, it's going to supposed to clear up a little bit later. So the thing is, I wanted to go to the gym at a certain time today. I am not able to go easily otherwise. Um, the sleet should clear up around dinner time. Oh, come on. So I'm going to go walk about a mile and a half to get some Taco Bell, because I haven't had any Taco Bell this year, I think. If I remember right. Oh, come on. Why? Eat a polymorph, bro. What are the odds of that respawn happening right there? Like, how was, I, how was it supposed to... Come on. Like, what am I supposed to do about that? I'm going to let my mana regen a little bit. Alright, this is good enough. I think we can kill him now. If he doesn't resist, that'd be really nice. At least I landed that fireball instead of that getting resisted also. So, I'm gonna go about a mile and a half walk, get some Taco Bell, take my time eating it. I'm gonna get some nacho fries, maybe a, uh, a beefy five layer burrito, substitute beans for the beef. Because I, I like the beef, I like beef, I eat beef, but I try to eat vegetarian when I go out. It's really easy. Because they have, you know, places that have, like, vegetarian food, I always get it. And, uh, more of an ethical thing. I'm just, like, weird about animals. Um, 
not so much health I'm saying, but more like ethical. And then, am I gonna die to this mob? Oh my goodness. Okay, whatever. I'm done with this guy. I'm never gonna get in and do this quest. These mobs are respawning too fast. Uh, okay, so leaving combat, great. Uh, let's drink up. Yeah, so I'm gonna go there, get a burrito, get some nacho fries, and um, then walk a mile and a half back, which is not much. I mean, honestly, to me, like a mile walk is not a big deal, but I've been kind of sitting at home most of the day today, so go for a walk, have some Taco Bell, do a little bit of at-home exercise, got some chores done already today, did some YouTube editing, playing some well. It's shaping up to be a pretty nice, pretty nice day for me. Uh, I do miss my wife. I wish she was here, because then we could go eat Taco Bell together, or do some workouts together or something, but... Um, oh, come on. What are the, this guy, these guys have wild levels of resist. Look at this. Like, I can't believe how high the resist rate is in those mobs. It's, 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 it's exceptional for... I think it's exceptional for the level. Like, personally, I think it's pretty exceptional. Okay, what's in here? I'm trying to scope it out a little bit. I need to clear a little bit of a path here, I think. I don't think I can safely go in there if this guy's patrolling right outside. I mean, seriously, come on, look at the resists on this thing. There's no way it's supposed to resist as much. That's wild. I know I'm like complaining here, but I just, it's clearly exceptional. So it's two levels below me and it resisted at least half my spells. Moon Rage White Scalps have like some, the White Scalps, not the Dark Runners, have some heightened level of resistance, like, or like very high resist, relatively speaking. All right, I'm gonna do something here that I'm not sure is the like best idea. I'm getting so, so risky going in here. Please let there not be a mob up here. There is a mob up here. Okay, well this is garbage. Um, okay. Wish me luck, folks. This is probably a huge mistake. Oh, this is a dark runner. These don't resist much. I'm okay, I'm okay. It would be nice if it, <laughs> this is kind of scary though. This thing punch me in the face right here. Gotta get that screenshot though. <laughs> All right, let's make a little more water, a little more food, eat and drink. And I think I'm gonna be okay. I think oh, I need to also put my dampened magic back. Although nothing's actually, nothing out here casts spells, so I don't think it matters. I don't have my armor up. How long has this been down? Why is it down? I'm gonna drink again. Well, that that would probably help a lot. Arcane intellect's gonna run out soon, so I'm aware of that. I'm keeping an eye on it. All right. Oh, I'm an idiot. I did not mean to do that. I meant to polymorph this guy. All right. Okay, there's another mob in there. There's the books I need. Okay. Please, let me get a few non-resists here. That'd be really, really nice. Gotta make that bag space. <laughs> Alright, getting out of here. Okay, no respawns. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Whew, I'm like, I did not, like, that doesn't seem that scary, I'm sure to you. That was terrifying. That was, that's how you lose an Iron Man. Like, you can, I could have absolutely died doing that. Um, if the respawns outside had popped up, there was a very good chance I would have died. I had to move quickly for that, let me tell you. I'm not saying I'm the best WoW player on Earth, but... Probably top three. Probably top three. I.
Speaking of my, so obviously I'm being sarcastic if you couldn't pick that up. We have a new coworker in my lab. Uh, she's a postdoc. She completed her PhD about six, eight months ago and joined our lab um, maybe, well, I don't know how long ago she joined. I need more wargs, by the way. Where are the wargs at? I'm looking for them. Maybe uh, a month ago? Pretty much the beginning of the year, like January. Um, she's really fun to work with. Uh, she said that I have an extremely deadpan level of sarcasm to the point that she has difficulty like she understands now but at first she had a lot of difficulty judging whether i was being sarcastic or not and i, I never really thought about it but it's true i i will often i will often uh i'm very sarcastic i think and if i ever say anything that's insulting i almost always mean it as a joke and like i recognize it doesn't excuse it if i say something it's an insult to someone if they feel offended, you know, maybe it means I wasn't really thinking about what I was going to say in terms of how it would actually make them feel. Um, but I really never have bad intentions. I, I generally really am, like, good-natured. Um, I just like to express my feelings in sarcastic ways, I guess. So she said that I have a very, very high level of uh, deadpan sarcasm. And I think that's pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. So... I'm not seeing any wargs out here, which actually is making me really sad because it's all I really needed was one more warg. Um, the skitters, by the way, I never saw any, but I think they were... I think they're way up here. And I kind of wish I just stayed up there and did that quest, but I think we'll return back up here um, once I... Briarthorn, I can't do Briarthorn. I think we'll return back up there. Skeet is about to die. Skeet's the troll hunter. Female troll hunter. Um, I need to go get the warg, though. So we need to do the warg. We turn it in down here, and then we take it back up north. I think it's a follow-up quest. So we'll head back up that way. I just thought there were wargs down here, but I don't see any now. Which makes me feel a little stupid that I didn't just kill, like, one or two more to get the last heart. But I feel good. Like, I feel like my memory for these quests is on point. Like, I remembered where the books were for the Remedy of Aragol. I remembered where uh, the dead fields were roughly. I'm doing a good job. I mean, the quests certainly give you good advice. I mean, they're, they're in general, vanilla, classic WoW. Just read the quests. They give you a good sense of where things are. Um, it's not perfect, but they'll, they'll usually point you. There's a few quests. I mean, there's some standout quests that give you no indication of where to go. Or they... They kind of give you a hint, but it's really misleading. Um, there's a warg. I came all the way back up here to just kill stupid wargs. But... Alright, let's make sure. I don't need that Dark Runner. I'm just where that elite mob's out of here somewhere. Okay, I'm fireballing this guy because he's out of range of my uh, Frostbolt, which is fine. This will work out. Yeah, so I, uh, apparently I'm a fairly sarcastic person. Stringy wolf meat, that's not what I needed. Ooh, let's get this guy. Um, and I'm not surprised. I, I'm not surprised at all. I've always been a little sarcastic. I, I was once told that, I, or I had this belief that, hold on a sec, I'm getting, I want to kill this guy. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I'm going to ding here, which is wonderful, not beautiful. I need a little bit faster Frostbolt, 0.1 second faster cast, which will increase our DPS. Anything here to loot? No. Okay. We still need another Warg Heart. Oh, we got a... Oh, yeah, that's, that's the uh, quest item. I'm really glad I thought about... Well, that item was looting, which took like five seconds. I'm really, really glad I emptied out a bag slot. I Every second counted there. Like, seriously. It was, oh, it's terrifying. Oh, hold on. Alright, this will work. I've got enough mana to kill this guy still. Ferocious grizzled bear. But yeah, I just man. Um I I I'm also moderately egotistical. Like I think I have a I think I have a pretty large ego. And not I don't think I am like a braggadocious. Like I don't think I brag a lot. I try not to. If I do, then I guess I really have a big ego because I don't recognize it that I do so. Um I do think it's funny that Rabbit's Foot drops those modeled works. I guess kinda cool. Um, but 
By the way, we have had some bad luck. <laughs> we killed like three or four of these now and none of them dropped anything. Um, oh, what was I saying? Uh, so I, I think I have a fairly good opinion of myself. Like, I have good self-confidence. And I think sometimes it actually goes beyond just being self-confident into the point of being somewhat egotistical. And it's something I try and keep in mind and try and like temper back. And I always tell my wife when something doesn't go right for me, I, like my favorite phrase is always like, oh, it's good for my ego. It's good for my ego. Like I, I've applied for different grants that I didn't get. Um, I've applied for things that I've gotten trashed on. Like just like made me feel like I was just a complete idiot. And uh, I was like, well, it's good for my ego. <laughs> like... I don't know, it is. Like, sometimes being checked is uh, important, I think, as a human. Um, so, with that said, uh, oh, bear. <laughs> as I backpedal like a pro. Uh, with that said, one of the problems with the ego thing that I'm mentioning is that I have this theory that people that are funnier have to have a fairly high level of intelligence or at least are good at picking up on a situation and responding quickly. I'm not talking about comedians being funny. I mean, I think they do have to respond to the audience quite a bit. I'm looking for wargs, by the way, if someone found any recently. Um, I'm trying to stay near the road, too, for, like, safety reasons. But, like, stand-up comedians, I'm not saying they're not intelligent, but this is completely not based in science, by the way. Everything I'm saying here is personal opinion, not scientifically backed, and largely inaccurate I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna kill this bear for fun uh, so my theory is that if you're someone that is funny in a group setting like someone says something and you respond in a way that makes people laugh maybe not necessarily you're more intelligent than the average person but you're good at picking up on things that are occurring around you and, re and responding in a way that elicits laughter like I think that is, maybe it's a trained skill, you could even argue, like a learned behavior. Uh, I would say it's probably true to some extent. But I think there's a certain group of people, a certain type of person that is capable of making things funny quickly. Like, I mean, comedy is timing, right? So it's a well-known thing that, um, I forget the phrase, but a good part of comedy is the timing. Like, it, it's really important that you place your joke or your response to something that's happening to make people laugh in a certain time frame relative to whatever's happening. Otherwise, it's not funny anymore. You can't tell a joke 20 minutes after whatever was going on went on because then it's, it's at best an anecdote. Uh, let's kill these Ravenclaw things. I don't know what they are like. Let's kill them for fun. Um, and I think I'm good at that. That's what I'm trying to say. I, in When I'm in a group setting, with like friends or even coworkers, whatever, people I kind of know but not super well, I've always felt like I can make people laugh pretty well, which I don't think comes through my YouTube channel at all, because I'm basically just monologuing to myself for an hour. Um, anyway, so to, to wind this back, I think that's where my ego thing comes in, that I'm like, oh, I'm a funny person, I make people laugh. But no one's really ever told me that. <laughs> I just like, I think I'm just egotistical, it's something I need to work on, it's, it's a character flaw. I found a warg, by the way, I'm cross my fingers this guy just drops his heart <laughs> that's all i need i just need him to die and give me his heart i'm not asking that much all right oh all right we're gonna move down the we're gonna just genocide commit genocide on all these wargs until one of them gives up their heart i mean all they have to do is one of them is sacrifice make that sacrifice they don't need it anymore I've already killed them uh I just need one of these guys to make that sacrifice, and uh, we'll be on our way. There we go. All right. Um, I'm going to drink for a moment before we head back. Actually, I'm tempted to... Oh, thank you, sir. Give you a little anti-magic buff in case that's helpful. I don't know if that is. Probably not. Uh, probably reduce their own healing on themselves. I almost wonder if it's faster just to hearth to Undercity and fly. I think it might be. I'm gonna try. I, I don't really know, but I think I'm gonna do that because I'm feeling really lazy. And then we'll turn in all these quests. And uh, we got like three or four quests returning in. It's actually great. Like, 
super awesome. Uh, while I'm here, let's vendor Priest Power Mace, which looks absolutely plain, um, but whatever. <laughs> you know, we're not using it anyway. Mace, the Stein, Bloody Bear Paws. Um, you know what I need to do while I'm here? I need to make... Let me find... I could use a few more... Yes. I need th uh, one, two, three, four. So let's do four. I need to make a few more elixirs of minor defense. And I think there's an alchemy trainer. I think there's a general goods vendor up here. Am I wrong on that? I think those guys sell it. Reagent vendor. This guy might have it. Is that right? No, I guess I, I might need to go to the um, apothecarium. Central trade supplier with this. Oh, nice. Perfect. Okay, I thought someone might have them up here, but I just wasn't totally sure. Let's throw together a few more of these. Actually, yeah, let's do a few more of these. That's, that's good. I don't need to make any more. Um, I want to throw everything back in the bank then. The extra vials, I guess. Um, Alright, and now we need our bat rider, which is over other side, I think. Um, kind of got turned around here, but I should just know where the bat rider is. Yeah, this is right. Yeah, I was gonna say I thought there was a bat hanging here, but I don't, there it is. Okay, I didn't see it at first. All right, it's a pretty short flight. We're gonna fly over. I'm gonna speed up the video, and we'll be back in 20 seconds, let's say. Welcome back. I just had this realization that I think you can make limited invulnerability potions. I think that's a thing. I haven't done alchemy in a long time. And I think it gives you anywhere from like 3 to 8 seconds of invulnerability. If I get alchemy to that point, that's wildly helpful. Like, I can see how that's like cheating in the Iron Man challenge, right? But anyway, uh, we're at. To, I'm just thinking ahead. I'm like, wow, that would be so nice. Okay. Argyll's Folly. This is precisely the spell I was in search of, mage. If your dedication to the Dark Lady's cause remains infallible, you will find you have quite a future amongst the Forsaken. Thank you for the buff, sir. Okay, we're gonna get Glutton Shackles and Dark Soul Shackles. Um, Minions from Gluttons and Moonrage Gluttons and Moonrage Dark Souls. Maybe it seems the North and East. Have we seen these? I think I saw these. They're a little bit bigger than the White Scalp looking guys, but not like wildly bigger. And they're not elites, I know that, so... Okay, we can do that. Shouldn't be too bad. And Apothecary Renfeld, he needs the Wild Hearts. Uh, Renfeld. Renfeld takes the hearts. Uh, it is troubling to hear our Deathstalkers have failed their mission. Let us hope that these failures are rare. I'll give you the potion in a moment. Oh, nice! So we can actually... <laughs> I'm never going to use this recipe. <laughs> Discolored War Guards, that's what I want to collect. Uh, I'll give you the potion in a moment, but here is its recipe. If those Deathstalkers find themselves in need of future aid, then perhaps you can give it yourself. Okay, bring the potion to Quinn Yorick at the Ivar Patch. Do I have enough bag space? No, okay. Here's a potion to aiding Quinn Yorick's recovery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have very important work to continue. Alright, so we need to head back north, which is what I kind of uh, was expecting. So we can go back and work on a skittering blood at that point. And this other quest... Underground down here, I think it is. All right, hi, Executor Hadrick. All right, uh, I heard of your successful raid against the, the Rothide Supermage. I actually didn't kill any Rothide, so he's obviously mistaken. Uh, and this essence is proof of Nightlash's death. The Scourge have lost ground this day. Your value to the Forsaken grows. Seventeen armor cloth boots. Oh. We've discovered a new hive for the Scourge, the Decrepit Fairy. The fairy lies east of the Sepulchre and is heavily patrolled by Rothides and other undead. There must be a reason for the Scourge's occupation of the area. 
Go to the Crepid Fairy and find out why the Scourge are there. Okay, I've got to search for the reason. Uh, get some new boots. They look kind of cool, I guess. But they're mostly a 10 armor upgrade, which is, again, about as good as we're going to get. <laughs> we're not exactly going to be... Can we roll in in this stuff? Um, well, I mean, I will I will use this recipe. I mean, it's, it's nice. This is a huge heal potion, right? Instead of 70 to 90, this is 140 to 180. That's really cool. Um, I just don't expect to get a lot of warg hearts coming through here. Like, I'm not planning to farm a lot of them. Uh, you know, I'm actually going to... I think we'll wrap up here today. I, I always aim for around like a 60 minute episode, plus or minus 10 minutes. Um, but now we're in such a good spot, like we're at a town, like I might as well just kind of wrap. Uh, but what I want to do is make a bunch of wolf meat. And as long as it stays red, I want to keep making the charred wolf meat because it's the easiest one. If this one turns yellow soon, maybe the spiced wolf meat will stay red and I'll just buy some mild spices. Usually around every five levels is when skills can change from red or orange, whatever you want to call it, to yellow, green, or gray. So at 30, this might drop to yellow. We'll find out. Oh no, wow. It's so easy to scale up the first like 30 or 40 points of cooking. Given given this. Alright. Oh, we don't need this anymore. Get rid of that. Oh gosh, okay. So we need a decrepit fairy. That would be here. Or, or no, maybe this dock, this little dock looking thing. I bet that's where I need to go. Okay, I'm just thinking about what I want to do. Yeah, let's let's call it a day. We did ding again. We're, we're still keeping up at least one level per episode. It's been nice. Uh, that's going to fall down very soon. I think next episode or two will probably be the end of our dinging every episode streak. Um, what else do we need to do? I think that's it. What, what are we... We're level 13, so next level we'll get skills at 14, which is nice. And I think what we're going to work on next time, I might wander over to the Decrepit Fairy if it looks reasonable. Um, but otherwise, killing these gluttons, we're going to go back north, we'll kill the gluttons. We'll return to Quinn, that's an easy quest. And we'll go get the Skittering Blood, those are all pretty easy things to do. I really want to keep scaling up my herbalism though. I feel like it's a little bit low. And... I want to keep going as much as I can with that because I think it's going to be a very valuable skill for us. Uh, anyway, that is all for today. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.